how is everybody doing? Um, it has been forever since I have posted a video, and I am so sorry. Um, you know, just life. Life's been going on. So, no real reason. Just been taking a break. Um, so, first of all, I would like to thank all my new subscribers and everybody that still follows me and hasn't given up on me. And just thank you for subscribing and just being a part of this, of my shenanigans. <laughs> no dogs in here to show you today. Um, they're just too rambunctious and it's late and I just want to film this and show you guys, um, my new wheel and what I've been working on. I really haven't been crocheting. I have been trying this out. This is something, uh, something different that I was trying out. I think it's pretty. I've been, I made the one side with all white and then I was incorporating some brown and I don't think I like that. So I think I'm going to go more like this with just a touch of the, the brown like in this piece. So yeah, I think that looks really pretty. So anyways, my big news is, ugh, I look like shit. Um, that's not the big news. Um, I got my wheel. Yay! And thank you so much to everybody that bought a D-Stash box for me. Um, Carla. <laughs> um, yeah. Anybody that bought a D-Stash box for me, you helped me to purchase my wheel. This is it. It's little. It's cute. It's adorable. I love it. But this is it. It's so little I can just totally pick it up and and show you guys. But I want to show you this. Some of the yarn I've been working on. Um, this is a scrap yarn that I'm using. I'm making this with um, the wool roving, but I'm also I'm just incorporating um, some scraps of see if I can get a good picture for that. Some scraps in there. Yarn scraps. And I think that'll be really neat when it's finished. Um, this was just my, one of my first bobbins that I filled up. Um, it's just some purple. But I'm getting, I'm getting better at being able to make a, let me see if I can find the end, find, make a, um, a more, you know, smaller yarn. So I, I think I'm going to apply this with another yarn, another one, maybe this, this one, I don't know. But, and then I have this gray one. That I'm currently currently have on my wheel that I'm also working on so <laughs> so fun you guys if you have never tried it I recommend it it is so much fun and it's so um so relaxing it's just it's a lot of fun totally a learning curve though I gotta tell you when I first started my my yarn looked like oh uh, that w rope would be a compliment to that yarn that that I made in the beginning but um as you can see once you get the hang of it it's really a lot of fun oh hold on one second I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna go get my a skein that I finished actually finished one hold on one second okay so this is so I ordered some um, faux angora roving it's hand dyed it's so gorgeous this is the braid but really it looks like when you get it you just pull it apart and it makes like a big long you know tube and 
hold on. And then once you pull it all out of the, the braid, then you just, you know, you pull it apart like that a little bit at a time. And you spin it on your wheel and poof, you got yarn. This, guys, oh, this is amazing. This is faux angora and it is, I can't even, I've never felt anything as soft as this. God, it's so good. But anyways, this is the yarn I made. It has red strings tying it together, like when you. But anyways, this that's not part of the yarn. In other words, but isn't it cute? So pretty. That's my very first finished yarn i just love it i can't wait to use it i'm gonna um i'm gonna spin this one up so it's the same so i'll have two of them yeah and then i'll be able to make something i can't wait but that that is basically everything that i have been up to i really haven't been crocheting very much um just maybe working on a blanket for my daughter but nothing <coughs> nothing nothing big and it's just been raining and raining and raining here it's just been horrible um, but other than that nothing spectacular other than my crazy um, I don't know what's wrong with me I've been like I like yesterday I broke down crying twice on the phone I call my <laughs> I mean over stupid things over like just like silly like well the one wasn't silly I lost something and I when I found it I just like lost my mind and then um I'm on the phone with my daughter telling her about it and I start crying again and then I start telling her about a um a video oh my god this video on YouTube of this little dwarf horse that was born with these these little feet that couldn't hold I can't even talk about it anyways so yeah that started making me cry but anyways the horse was happily ever after with the horse they fixed his little legs with little braces oh my god he ran for the first time oh my god I lost my shit um so so yeah that's basically Everything I've been doing, I've just been working on trying to figure this spinning stuff out and slowly but slowly and doing a little research on different types of fiber that I might want to use and what goes together, what doesn't go together, you know, just different things, you know, because of, I have allergies, so, and I don't want to spend a million dollars, but yeah, if anybody, you know, whatever want me to spin them some yarn just let me know we can work something out if you would are interested in some hand spun yarn um yeah i got the spinning wheel to do it so yes um any questions or anything that you have like about my wheel or you know how much it cost or where i got it, it this one was really cheap it was like like totally a, a total beginner wheel and you can buy upgrades for it which is what i was just talking to my husband about um and but just as as is with the the lazy kate is with what those it comes with everything everything like look how fast it goes it's so easy to crush it's just simple it's awesome and it's so fun and anyways it comes with um the three three bobbins and this thing that holds the bobbins up oh, my nose is itching the three things that holds the bobbins up at the top everything here it was 3.99 which isn't terrible because you know 
And I've seen other ones that start at like eight, nine hundred dollars or like a thousand dollars just just for the basic wheel. So yeah, it's a really good deal. So if anybody's looking for one, just let me know and I'll uh, head send you in the right direction. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. Um if I can think of anything else, I'm just gonna sit here and blah blah blah. So I hope you guys have a great night. Um, hope you had a fantastic Valentine's Day. I did. Spent it with my honey. Um, got the chocolate and then I need to eat. Um, okay, well, I'll talk to you soon and I hope that I don't take as long to post another video. I plan to do more um, in-depth things about like my spinning wheel and whatnot on it. If, if you'd like to see more about that, let me know. Um, that's about it. Oh, the only the only yarn that I have gotten, I think, is this. This right here. It's so beautiful. Three of the shawl on the balls. I love this color. I don't want to take it out of the packaging until I'm ready to use it. But I want to make this top that I saw. So I think this is going to be gorgeous. And it'll be perfect for um, Texas because it's never cold here. So always hot. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please, please do. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.